Well, it may not look like it yet, but construction is nearing completion at the Lake Bemidji South Shore Park. Our Josh Peterson takes a look at the project. Since the development of the Lake Bemidji South Shore began, the city has always had a vision of a new recreational area for Lake Bemidji's South Shore. With the main construction that began earlier this summer, the finish line is now in sight. Um, we're in a really good spot. It's been moving along all summer um, and things have been going pretty well. So our completion date for that project is actually at the beginning of October. The heart of this project is the restoration and preservation of a nearly 100-year-old building that will serve a new purpose as a public use facility. We were told this building was built in 1920 and the rock walls are just excellent condition. They're almost two feet thick and Nobody's really touched them that we can tell for, you know, a hundred, hundred years. The new beach area will also feature amenities such as showers and a bicycle repairing location. What we've been able to do with the design, which people will see pretty soon, is there's an area where people can ride their bikes, kind of pull off um, onto a concrete area, park their bike, there'll be a bike fix-it station there. Um, and then they'll be able to access the building, the restrooms, and, and some other amenities down there. With construction on the new South Shore Park nearing completion, the general public may just have to wait until next year to experience the new park. We may have to stay tuned. Um, we may try to do something just to let people take a look, but for sure in the, the spring we'll do a big grand opening and invite everyone to come in and really see, see what we built out there. With other new developments in the near future for the South Shore, the new city park is expected to make this location a destination. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. While the park is currently closed to the public, the Paul Bunyan State Trail that runs through the park remains open. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.